Bryophytes are referred to as simple plants or lower plants, and they are more primitive compared to other groups of plants. Bryophytes are non-vascular plants. Non-vascular plants do not contain a vascular system, meaning they lack vascular tissues, xylem and phloem, that transports water, minerals, and sugars throughout the plant. Bryophytes absorb water and food directly from the environment through their bodies like a sponge. For this reason, bryophytes are often found in cool, moist, and shady areas, however, they can also be found in arid environments, such as deserts. Bryophytes bring in water through a process called osmosis, and they bring in minerals and nutrients through diffusion. Bryophytes do not have true roots, stems, or leaves with vascular tissues. Instead, they have root, leaf, and stem-like structures. Bryophytes have rhizoids which are root-like or hair-like structures that they use to anchor onto substrates, such as rocks, trees, logs, soil, and other surfaces. Rhizoids also help to absorb water and nutrients. Since bryophytes lack xylem and phloem, which provide structural support and rigidity to the plant, and they lack true leaves, stems, and roots, bryophytes are small in size and simple in form. Bryophytes are herbaceous, meaning they do not grow wood, and they do not produce seeds, fruit, or flowers. Bryophytes reproduce both sexually and asexually. Sexual Reproduction for sexual reproduction, bryophytes reproduce via spores, and they require water as a transport medium for sperm and for fertilization. Plants have an alteration of generations, meaning they display two plant stages or generations in their life cycle. They include the gametophyte generation and the sporophyte generation. Plants spend part of their life cycle in the gametophyte stage and part in the sporophyte stage. The main and dominant plant generation of the bryophyte is the gametophyte generation. The male gametophyte plant produces the male sex organ, called an antheridium. And the female gametophyte plant produces the female sex organ, called an archegonium. Antheridium produces sperm, and archegonium produces a single egg. These sex cells, the sperm and egg, are called gametes. Many bryophytes have separate sexes, meaning there are male gametophyte plants that bear antheridia, and female gametophyte plants that bear archegonia. Other bryophytes produce male and female sex organs on the same gametophyte plant. During sexual reproduction, the sperm from the antheridium swims through water to reach the egg within the archegonium. A single sperm fuses with the egg in a process called fertilization which results in a zygote. The zygote is the first stage of the sporophyte generation of the bryophyte's life cycle. The zygote grows into a multicellular embryo within the archegonium. The embryo matures into a small plant body attached to the female gametophyte plant body. This new plant body is called the sporophyte, and it grows out of the top of the larger female gametophyte plant body to which it is attached. The sporophyte produces spores which are eventually released and dispersed away from the parent plant. Once the spore lands in a suitable spot, it germinates into a new male or female gametophyte plant body. For some bryophytes, the spore germinates and grows into a filamentous thread of green cells called a protonema, which forms buds that grow into a new individual gametophyte plant. Spores represent the first stage of the gametophyte generation. Asexual reproduction Bryophytes can reproduce by a process called fragmentation. This occurs when a fragment of the plant breaks off and is dispersed away from the parent plant.
When it finds a suitable environment, the fragment grows into a new individual plant. Another way bryophytes can reproduce is by forming tissues or buds that detach from the plant. These propagules are dispersed away from the parent plant and grow into new individual plants. This process is called budding. Spores, fragments, tissues, and buds disperse by wind, water, and animals. Finally, some bryophytes can grow into new plants when portions of the plant grow and elongate out. These branched portions then become separate new plants when the older, original portion of the plant dies, and the original connection is lost. There are three groups of bryophytes and they include mosses, hornworts, and liverworts. While each one is distinct from each other, they have similar life cycles. The plant body of liverworts is often flat with ribbon-like lobes. These plants are named liverworts because the lobes resemble a human liver. The other liverworts have a leafy or scaly appearance. The plant body of hornworts resembles those of the flat lobe liverworts, but they have horn-like or spike-like structures arising from the flat plant body. These horn, spike structures are the sporophytes. Mosses usually live in dense colonies or beds. Each has an upright stem-like structure that bears leaf-like blades. This concludes the video. For additional videos on biological resources, please go to my back bio page.